Hello everybody! In this video, I would like to show you how you can convert your Lightroom presets into Capture One styles with just a few clicks. Preset Converter can issue them as separate styles or as a style pack which can be installed from the File Manager with a double click. First, you select your target folder, where the Capture One styles will be saved after the conversion. I select the Capture One Styles folder. Capture One automatically scans this folder after each program start. If you select the Output Format Style Pack in Preset Converter Settings dialog, the software will ask you for a name for the style pack during conversion, and at the same time, you can also take the opportunity, if you want to, to customize the storage path again. But first, I will show you how you can issue separate styles. I quickly open the folder in my file manager so that we can see that the styles appear there. When I click on the Convert button, an Open File dialog appears. Here you can select one or several presets. You can find the various paths under which Lightroom files its XMP or LR templates in Windows or on Mac in the manual. If the presets you want to convert include white balance settings, a warning will appear during conversion. Although most preset manufacturers use the white balance feature within their presets, I don't consider this to be a good idea. Even if you only work within Lightroom and you don't wish to convert your presets, this can lead to problems. Why? Well, let me take you on a short detour. Here I have two images from the Trust Your Eyes test chart. One from a body test, where we used a halogen lamp, and one from a lens test, where we worked with a flash. The halogen lamp has around 4,400 Kelvin, and the flash has between 5,500 and 6,000 Kelvin. As a result, both images look similar with a white balance which matches the light source. If, however, you use the same preset with 5000 Kelvin for both images, one image will have a warm look and the other one will look colder. The same effect can occur with images which have been taken at different times of the day. For this reason, I always recommend using the white balance to make the image neutral. If you want to apply a warm or cool look to the image, simply use the curves. In this case, you can be sure that the look you created pushes colors in the right direction and doesn't achieve the opposite of what you want to see depending on the image. Preset Converter cannot convert the parameters for camera calibration and dehaze for Capture One since these features do not exist in Capture One. As a result, a warning will appear if your preset uses these parameters. Apart from these warnings, which you have to confirm individually or together, the Capture One styles will appear in the selected output folder when you open the Lightroom presets. After restarting Capture One, these styles will then appear in the area for styles and presets. To sort the Capture One styles a little bit, you can sort similarly themed styles into one folder. Then they will also appear within the same category in Capture One. If you chose Style Pack as the output format and then convert a few presets, you will be asked for the name of the Style Pack. Here, I'm going to call it Tutorial Styles. A Style Pack is a file with the ending .co style pack, which can contain any number of styles. By double-clicking on the Style Pack in the File Manager, the files contained therein will automatically be imported into Capture One. If you have selected Style Pack with Category at the beginning, all loaded styles within a Style Pack will appear within their own category in Capture One. Without the Category option, they will be imported into the General Styles folder. If we compare the converted presets with the originals, you can see that the results are already very similar. But with this image, the result doesn't really convince me. 
so I quickly perform a manual white balance in Lightroom and capture one. Voila, here we go. That is why I explained the white balance to such an extent. There is one thing I would like to show you to always keep in mind. Adobe Lightroom works with the Pro Photo RGB color space, while Capture One edits images on the basis of the color profile loaded along with the image or on basis of the raw data. In different color spaces, the same changes in the color channels R, G, or B can result in different colorings. To demonstrate this, I have loaded the same image in Capture One using two different color profiles. If I pull up the red channel of the tone curves, we can see a red tint in the image with the sRGB color profile. If I perform the same change for the image containing the Pro Photo RGB, the color turns out more magenta. In this respect, the result in Lightroom will also end up more magenta due to the predefined color space. Depending on whether you edit your images in Capture One in RAW or in another format with a specific color profile, I always recommend that you use this setting in Preset Converter Settings dialog. Then all differences in color profile are taken into account during the conversion. Have lots of fun working with Lightroom and Capture One.